hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm back with another zara haul which is like my favorite hauls to film i am filming in a different room today i'm in my sister's room which kind of annoys me because i like a consistent background but my room is a literal sauna right now if i walk into my room my face just starts just dripping like actual just dripping in sweat um, and I literally cannot even stand in that room. I don't know why my room is a sauna. To be honest, my sister's room is not tons better. I'm still sweating a little bit, but at least I can actually breathe. Because I thought I was going to die in my room. So it kind of annoys me because I like a consistent background. But um, it was either this background or passed out in my room. So we went for this one. But yeah, I'm doing a, another Zara haul. I did a Zara haul maybe about a month or so ago. Wasn't very successful, didn't really like much in it. I think I literally kept like two, three things um, and majority of the order went back. If you have seen the haul, you'll kind of see that I basically complained about everything that I got. Wasn't super happy with it. And actually one of the things I did keep was uh, a dress that I got from that haul and it ripped the first day I wore it, so that was great. But I'm really excited about this order. I feel like it's gonna be a lot better. I ordered some really, things that looked quite promising. Um, yeah, that haul wasn't great. I went to do another Zara haul, so I ordered a few more bits. I'm just going to show you what I got. I have already filmed the try and clips for these pieces, so I know the bits that I'm going to keep and the bits that I really like, so I can tell you what they are like on. Actually, no, that's a complete lie. I haven't filmed like two or three bits because I got too hot. So I stopped. So there's a few things I haven't tried on yet, but the majority of it I have. Okay, so the first thing I thought I'd start off with is the six skirts that I bought. Um, I added six skirts to my basket because basically I liked three, no, they're sculpts. I liked three style of sculpts, but I don't even know what size I'm in. I don't know whether I'm a small or an extra small. So I thought, right, I'm just going to order an extra small and a small in the skirt. Um, and then, yeah, I added six skirts to my basket. And I think it was nearly like £200 just adding the six skirts in. But obviously I'm not going to keep six skirts, but it's fine. That's why I tried not to panic. I tried to stay calm because it literally was like £200 for six skirts. But obviously I'm not going to keep them all. But they are actually sculpts. So I'm going to show you the ones that I got. Like I said, I have tried these on. And I've already worn one of the pairs out. I've cut off a tag. So firstly, I will show you the ones that I have kept. So it's these scores. I think you've probably seen them. I know the lilac one is very popular. I've seen it a lot on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. But I picked up the black. Basically it's a flowy floral scorch. Skirt. so it looks like a skirt but underneath it there is short you can kind of see that there's shorts with it which i love because i i like wearing skirts and dresses but i always find that i have to wear like cycling shorts or something underneath and i hate if like the skirt blows up easy but they sh i show my underwear or i show cycling shorts and yeah i don't love wearing dresses and skirts for that reason but i love this because it's already conjoined the short you're safe you can just walk around in the wind it doesn't matter and then it comes with a little tie around the waist as well i absolutely love this like i said i did get two sizes this is the extra small and i've already worn the small i wore it out this weekend i absolutely love it the small in the sculpt style definitely fits me a little bit better and uh, it's just a little bit looser around like my hip area but then because of the tight waist i can sort of really tighten my waist area because it's a little bit big on the small but overall it looks better in the small if that makes any sense so the extra small gonna be sent back but i absolutely love this i wore this um this weekend with a little white like kind of top like this um just some sandals and it was really easy it was so hot this weekend it was like the weekend with 30 degrees and this was like the perfect sort of outfit for it they're really inexpensive as well they're only 20 pounds and i just liked the black color i thought it was really easy you can wear it with this top that i'm wearing today actually this is a bodysuit from misguided this is like a dupe for not a dupe because i'm pretty sure they're the same price but you know the zara body suits everyone wears this is from misguided it's like the same thing i'll link this down below as well but yeah you can also wear it with black and it would look really nice absolutely love this like i said definitely keeping this in the small and then i also picked it up in the red which again i'm going to keep i haven't worn it yet you can kind of see the tie bit a little bit better i just love these i was going to order the lilac like i said they're quite popular sh um school short i already have a pair of lilac shorts from zara so i thought it was a little bit of a waist i already have a lilac pair of shorts but i loved the red i thought this was like again a little white crop top and um, just some trainers or some white birkenstocks would look really cool really easy and the small fit me the best in this i barely own anything red either like red's a color that i really i don't i rarely wear to be honest but i really liked this little skirt, so i picked that up as well and then obviously we've got like the small the extra small and the small versions 
all of which will be going back. Uh, oh, this was the last sculpt that I picked up. This was a slightly more expensive version. This was £26. And to be honest, I didn't really like this. It has a sort of elasticated back and the waist. And then it's sort of like two ruffles. It's kind of hard to show because it just kind of looks like a skirt. But this looked... I don't know. The fit of this I just didn't like as much as those skorts. I think it just looks more like a flowy out skirt it looked kind of big and yeah i just wasn't a big fan of this skirt it might fit other people better and also the shorts of the skirt would like a see-through like mesh so if the skirt part did blow up then you would see your underwear because it's like a see-through mesh i didn't really understand that bit either um yeah just not my favorite these are going to be going back in both sizes just because i preferred the cheaper pair anyway which works out a lot better for me and my bank so yeah these are gonna go back not the biggest fan of what they looked like okay the next thing i picked up was a little blouse and i just thought this looked like a really cute top i really don't own much like nice tops like you know it's like nice top jean vibe um if you're going for a little bit of a fancier dinner or a lunch i don't have any like blouses or anything so i thought i would pick this up the only thing is it looks quite small i haven't tried this on yet um it looks quite small i did get it in a small and i was going to get an extra small so i'm glad i didn't do that because it is quite a little shirt i don't know whether the white is going to completely blow it out but it's kind of got like a frilly neck oh there we go and then it's got like all this sort of pattern around the shoulders it goes out below the chest area and then puffs out just a nice shirt like quite a smart shirt i just thought for nice dinners or something this would be easy just not sure about the fit of it yet this was 30 pounds so a little bit pricey um for a shirt yeah not totally sure if i'm going to keep this or not we'll see how it looks on but just for a smarter item i thought i would pick it up because i really don't have many nice tops it's something that i need to buy more because like a nice fancy top to wear with just jeans and stuff i only have like dresses or just like crop tops or something like this which you can't really wear to a fancy meal so i need to invest in some things like that okay the next thing i picked up i really like the look of this dress um i love how it's sort of mixed patterns it's really really nice so it is this v-neck dress with this sort of collar here which is all polka dot and then the trim around the um neck the collar is a floral pattern the body of the dress is a floral pattern cinches in with spots again back out to floral it's just basically a mixed pattern dress and i love these i think these are really really nice this i feel like is a really good work dress i feel like this with sandals would be really easy to work or tights and loafers but again i feel like it's a smarter piece i feel like i could wear this to a really nice dinner with some heels or just some flats or them like mule shoes that are really in right now i don't actually own any i want to pick up some of the quilted mules but yeah i haven't picked those up yet this i got in a small and it was 30 pounds it is long sleeved so i'm not sure that it's going to be good for this sort of weather when it's like 30 degrees outside but it's probably going to rain next week let's be honest it's going to be freezing cold next week and probably torrential rain but it's still good to have things like this yeah, just a nice smart skater dress it'd be really good to have dinners in because it does cinch around the waist and then flow back out which we love that sort of design because we can eat whatever we want i picked up a, another dress which i'm really excited about this one again haven't tried this one do you know what i don't know why i said i've tried on most of it i tried on like the skirts and that was it but yeah i um i haven't tried this on yet this dress i'm really excited about it's like a v-neck dress but it has these shoulder pads in i know these are really in fashion right now these like shoulder pad things like a literal pad in there it kind of goes out the shoulders and then it is a three-quarter length sleeve and kind of cinches in v-neck i love the colors of this it's like purple blue orange so a mix of everything cinches in at the waist with some buttons and then flows back out i feel like again this is almost a smarter dress with some white sandals you could wear this to like a nice lunch or a nice summer dinner i feel like would look really nice the shoulder pads i feel like smart enough and outfit so yeah i feel like again this would look really nice for like a smart dinner um i got this in a small and it was 30 pounds which i feel like is kind of average bizarre dresses i feel like they're usually about 30 pounds okay the next dress i picked up was kind of random i'm not sure if i'm gonna like this but i just saw it on the new in and just thought it looked really nice so it is a spaghetti strap sort of top bit ribbed material top I'm not sure they're gonna be able to see because it is white there we go and then it flows out in this like almost crepe material all the way pretty much to the floor um and it has these like ruffles and little linings all the way down it yeah not really sure if this is my style but i just saw it on the new in like i said and thought it looked really nice a nice easy dress i'm not gonna lie this material at the bottom wasn't what i was expecting i thought it would just be like a normal like you know like a material like this but it's like 
I want to say it's crepe. I could be completely wrong, but I feel like it's like, or linen, or crepe. One of those. It's just not the material that I was really expecting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. But again, with just some sandals, I thought would be a nice, like, throw-on, easy dress. Also could look quite smart as well. Like, it's quite a, like... Or is this a mumsy dress? Is it too mumsy? I don't know. I'm not really sure why I picked up, but I just thought I would give it a go. I got this in a small, and this was £25.99. So a little bit of a cheaper dress. Nice summer white dress. Or actually, would I like it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I haven't tried it on, but I just thought it would be a little bit different. Something that I don't really own in my wardrobe. And I'm not the biggest fan of, like, Midaxi, Maxi... Maxi Medaxi, I don't know what it's called, um, dresses on me because I feel like I am kind of short. Oh, I'm not short, I'm 5'4". I don't really know what I'm saying, I'm just not sure about... We'll try it on and then I can see if I like it on or not. So I picked up a, another blouse sort of top. Like I said, just wanted to add a few like nice tops to wear with jeans and stuff. But the only thing is, um, I'm not sure whether this was particularly worth the money. It's a really thin, like meshy material. It doesn't feel particularly expensive and it was £26. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this just purely because of the price and the material. But the actual top itself is really nice. I love the colours. It's like this nude pink and then a really nice purple colour it is a sort of square neck blouse and then it flows out around the sleeves and it is cropped and it cinches in this with some white skinny jeans or some blue skinny jeans again I feel like it's a really nice like nice top vibe for dinner but like I said just not totally sure whether the price sort of reflects the quality I don't feel like it looks like it's 26 pounds I feel like I could have got this from anywhere um it didn't look like a really thin see-through material on the website but yeah in real life it is sort of a thin material but it might look really nice on and look a bit more expensive on with some jeans and some white sandals or something but just holding it I don't feel like it looks the price but we'll try it on and see again there's another pair of these shorts these are the extra small but yeah, I'm not going to keep them. Again, with the shoulder pad trend, I got this little shoulder pad crop top. So it has these pads around the shoulders, obviously. And then it's kind of like a square neck crop. Not square neck, a like boxy square um, crop top white. I bought these to tuck into the skirts. I feel like they look really cool with the shoulder pads. But it is actually a lot shorter than I sort of anticipated. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to tuck it into the skirts. But we'll see if we can or not. Or maybe this will just look cool with some skinny jeans. This was only a tenner, so really easy and affordable. I do want to try the shoulder pad trend. So I thought I'd pick it up since it was only a tenner. I'm not sure whether it's going to be able to do what I want it to do. But yeah, I like this. I really like the shoulder pad trend. I think it looks really cool. I did also pick up a white like quarter neck top which I wore this weekend and tucked into the school but I did spill chocolate down it. I'll just get it anyway but just remember, just know that I did spill chocolate down it. So this is the little white like quarter neck ribbed top I got. As you can see I did spill some chocolate down it but I wore this this weekend tucked into the black school. I will try and actually insert a picture if I've got one that I wore this weekend. But I loved this. I think it was like £7 and I feel like it just feels a little bit better quality than like one from Primark or something. I got it in a small and it's not like super tight to your skin again you'll kind of see if i ins i mean there'll be a trial clip and will there be a trial clip because it might be in the wash i don't know but i'll insert the picture anyway that i wore of this weekend so it's not super like tight to your skin so i tucked it into the school and the whole outfit just kind of looked like flowy like it was just flowy really good for the weather um and again yeah i only think like seven pounds or something just an easy ribbed halter neck top to tuck into the skirts or some denim shorts oh my god i completely forgot i got denim shorts as well Bear with. Okay, so I also picked up these denim shorts, which I, again I wore on the weekend with actually this bodysuit tucked in. I absolutely adore these shorts. I think they are so cool. I hadn't actually seen them on the website before. I'm not sure whether they were on the new in or not. They're a really nice light blue colour. Uh, not tight, which I love. But I love that the end is like frayed. They sort of go out like this. So they're not tight around your bum area or anything. But not really long like the mum. Are they the mum? The Bermuda mum shorts that everyone wears and that I've got as well. Um, they are like a boyfriend short, aren't they? But they're sort of quite long. These flow out like a boyfriend short, but they're not really long, which I feel like goes with a lot more tops. Love the colour. And then around the waist, they have this really cool, like stitched detail that kind of looks like they've almost been taken in but they actually fit really well around the waist this i got in a 
eight, I think. Yeah, I got this in at eight. It's a tiny bit big around my waist, but the six would just look too small. So I feel like it looks fine. And these were only 19 99 They were really inexpensive. Like I said, I wore these this weekend tucked into this bodysuit that I got from Misguided. And I just feel like it looks really nice. You could wear this with the trainers. I personally wore it with chunky sandals because uh, it was really hot this weekend. And yeah, I really liked it. They're a good denim short in this heat as well because... They are flowy, so not wearing, like, the tight, short denim shorts um, aren't exactly the best when it's really sweaty weather. But these are actually really nice to wear. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. Completely forgot about them two pieces. That would that would have been bad if I completely missed them two from the haul. So, yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Zara. I feel like this was a little bit more successful than my last Zara haul. I feel like I like a lot more of this stuff, and I have already worn, like, three of the pieces already. I'm going to film the other charm clips now so I can see the other bits look like but i hope you enjoyed this haul please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy zara hauls or just hauls in general and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video